Well, what you'll find here is you have students that come to SIPI uh, mainly because they cannot afford the uh, universities or the um, uh, community colleges that are offered to the general public. And one in particular that stands out is Charlton Dan. And when I first met him, he um, was always falling asleep in class and I was wondering what was going on with him. And um, as I talked to him one day, I found out he worked nights and that um, he was raising a family and also in a, a career transition. I work uh, from 10 to 6 o'clock in the morning. And during my first trimester, my first class was at 8 o'clock in the morning. He's more aggressive about his education than a lot of other students. And so he keeps me, he keeps me on my toes and going because he, he demands more. I try, try to learn as much as possible. I take a lot of pride in making a pair of glasses. Grew up in, um, it's a place called Beige Patel, Arizona. We didn't have no running water. My dad, uh, he wasn't really around. It wasn't too bad compared to a lot of Navajo people that I know or over the whole reservation. My main um, purpose was to get a stable job to take care of my family. My kids ask me, are you going to, are you going to work again tonight? And I tell them, yeah. And they go, they go when, are, when are you not going to go to work? I said, I have to work. You know, and they, they feel that, um, they feel it too. You know, when I'm not there, they want me to be there, but I got to go work. So that's basically what, probably the main thing that will change, to actually spend time with them, work while they're at school, you know, that stable schedule that I can stick with. Our program has used SEVA's contribution towards allowing students to take the American Board of Opticianary certification exam. And this is an exam that many of our students are ready for, but many of our students cannot afford. I had to um, calculate my bills around if I was going to take that test. And then uh, Ms. Redshirt, um, she told us about SEVA, what they were going to do for us. They gave us the funding to take the, the ABO exam. That just gave me more motivation to do it. He's very serious about his career and his path, so I feel it's our responsibility to give him the best that we possibly can. Thank you.